Yes, you read that right. This USB-C adapter will allow you to use Samsung DeX for only $30. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this USB-C multifunctional adapter. Now this adapter will allow you to use the Samsung DeX software if you have a Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, Note 8, S9, or S9 Plus. This will also work if you have a Nintendo Switch and allow you to have your Nintendo Switch go onto a different TV without the adapter. Now this is supposed to support up to 4K, but in today's video, we'll only be dealing with up to 2K. So I'll show you how all of that works. One of the main things that I want to accomplish in today's video is showing you how capable it is compared to the Samsung DeX Pad. Now the DeX Pad does cost $100, where the multifunctional adapter is only $30. Now first, let's talk about some of the differences. So right here on the multifunctional adapter, you do need the USB-C plug, so it doesn't come with one. Uh, that does come with a deck, so that's the one I'm using in today's video. It has two full USB-C slots, and then it has the HDMI, and then it has a USB-C that would plug into your phone or into the Nintendo Switch. Now on the DeX pad, it has those exact same slots, but the DeX pad does have a fan built into it right here, so it will actually keep your phone cool. Now, a big thing that the DeX pad also offered was being able to use the screen as a touchpad while plugged into the DeX, and this device does support that, so we're going to look into it. So enough rambling, let's dive in and see how it works. Now this adapter does require a USB-C power, and then in today's video, I'm going to be using these USB mouse and keyboard, and then here you will need to have a HDMI cable that I'm going to plug right in there. And then you are ready to plug in your phone. So again, this will work with the Samsung devices, N Nintendo Switch, as well as MacBook, MacBook Pro, anything that has the USB-C. So once I plug it in, you will notice that the phone shows that it is showing Samsung DeX. And then there on the monitor, it will go into Samsung DeX, just like that. Now in today's video, I'm going to be using the Samsung 4K 28 inch monitor. And right now, if we go into the settings here, so I can go to the menu, go to settings, Samsung DeX settings, and here in the screen resolution, it is showing that the resolution is WQHD at 2560 by 1440 resolution. Now before I had tried this on my 4K TV and it was not working, but it is working no problem here on the Samsung 4K monitor. Now today I am going to be using screen mirroring. So when I jump to the screen mirroring, it will default down to the 1080p just because that is the capture device that I have. But here is what the 4K looks like. Very crisp and clean. Everything loads up great. I have now switched to screen mirroring. So in order to do this, it has dropped down to 1080p, but it looks like the 2K resolution does does look amazing, it doesn't quite output in the 4K. Now let's talk about some of the big benefits of being able to do this with a USB adapter like the DeX Pad and this $30 device. To test out this multifunctional adapter, let's just go through kind of how DeX works in a nutshell. So you get home from work, you do have a few things to finish up or from school, all you need to do is plug in your phone into the multimedia device, and now you instantly have access to everything you were doing with a keyboard and a mouse. And if you wanted to plug in a USB drive instead of a mouse or something, you could do that as well. You can also just Bluetooth your mouse or keyboard, if it's Bluetooth compatible, right to the phone so you'd still have the USB ports available. But here you can see that right here at the bottom, we have all our apps. And then over here, we have all of our different notifications that we can see and we could interact with those all right from the DeX mode. And here we have our apps on the desktop and we have our full apps menu so you could easily open any of those applications. We have our recent apps so we can check out what we were recently using. And then we have our home button. So let's say I wanted to continue where I left off in my web browser. So right now I am designing some merchandise. So here we can see, oh yeah, this is the cool mug. If you'd like to see a mug like this or buy a mug like this, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see shirts or anything from Tech with Brett, let me know your ideas. I'd love to hear them so that I can make this for you. So now I have some merch there. Now let's go check out more about this product. So this is what I'm reviewing today. 
the Beebing DEX USB-C to HDMI 4K adapter. So here you can see it is $29.99 and there's all the details about it and we can check out, see if there's any reviews. No reviews right now, so hopefully I can put one up about this. And then here we can go to techwithbrett.com. So anything we were doing on Chrome on our phone is right here and available. Now let's say we wanted to check our calendar. We can easily pop open these apps. If we wanna go back to Twitter, we can do that as well and we can easily respond with a full keyboard right here and it will still search our gallery and everything. Down here at the bottom, we do have our message application so we could go back and text right here very easily. And then uh, maybe we wanna check out our security camera. We can pop open the Nest right here and it will show the front door. Let's see, that was a little video from earlier. Here is the live view, so we can keep track of everyone right there. And we do have access to, let's see, shrink down windows. So I could shrink this window all the way down to there, just like rotating your phone or resizing your phone screen. You can do that right here. And now it's like I'm in portrait mode because I have set it up properly there. So tons of app support. Many of the apps that I've tried and used will work on this, no problem. Now a bunch of people asked if Netflix works on this in full screen mode. And sadly, when I tested it, it does not. So let me show you real quick what does happen. So if we go to Netflix and here, I can search for it, open up Netflix. And here it says that some things may not work, especially because of touch input. So if I open a video right here, um, but yeah, there's no full screen button there at the top. It just stays in this small window. So you could have Netflix be playing up here and then be working over here if you wanted to do it that way. So then let's say I want to do some word processing. So this will have access to the full Microsoft Office Suite. So right now I am using PowerPoint and here you can make it full screen, minimize and close just like that. Here I am making a document about the best smart light. So here I have some info, but on this one, I would like to change the layout a bit. So I can select the layout and I could choose right here. So here I do want to add a picture to this. So all I need to do is go into the insert tab, select pictures, go to photos. It's then going to open up my recent pictures that I've taken. And I just wanna add this one right now. So this is a Wi-Fi bulb that I have reviewed in the past. So here I could resize it and everything. Sometimes it's hard to click exactly where I want it to go, even though this is a big cursor to get the exact point. It does have a little difficulty sometimes, but that's pretty simple to do. So there you go, I can add that. I could come in here and type Wi-Fi bulb, whatever I wanna do. Actually, I think this is the Bavon. So yeah, you have full access to the keyboard everything, you do have shortcuts. So if I wanted to select all, copy, paste, you do have everything right there because you have the full keyboard. If I wanna make a new slide, you do have all that. And this will work with Word and PowerPoint and everything. So you could quickly type out a paper or whatever right on here. Now I do get a lot of questions if this will work with a printer. So you cannot plug a printer directly into it. The phone or Android does not support those drivers. But if you have a Wi-Fi printer, so let's say I click print on this thing, control P, and then I select allow, it is going to search for any printers you may have on the network. So here it did find my HP NV5540 and just need to agree to the terms right there and get the HP printer plugin. And then you would be able to go and select that printer or save it as a PDF and you can do all that. So this is very powerful and all it can do, it's just like your phone, but it's on the big screen. You have way more applications or way more room to use all of those applications. Now let's go in and try a game. So here I was just playing some PUBG. I wanna go back into the game. You do have full access to the full screen. If you have enabled game tools and if you have turned on the full screen option, it will let you put this into full screen. Now you may be asking if there is any difference in the performance from this device and the Samsung DeX, and there is not. Other than it having a fan to cool down your device, there is no actual difference 
in how this is going to perform because it's just your phone and the processor that it has. Now there is a slight difference between using say the Galaxy S9 versus the S9 Plus and the Note 8 because they have six gig of RAM. So they are able to push a little more speed and power while you are using this. And I do prefer using the Note 8 over the S9 just because of that little benefit there. So here we can go in, we can choose whatever, open the box, cool, you got it. Um, now you will notice there's no sound coming out because I'm plugged directly into a monitor. If you wanted any sound, you would need to Bluetooth to a speaker or you could plug right into your phone via the auxiliary port because that's still a thing on Samsung phones and you could have it go to any auxiliary speaker, which is pretty sweet. All right, let's just get right into it and see how it looks. So here with my mouse, I can just click and drag to move around. And then uh, let's see, I have my W, S is backwards, D is right, A is left. And then you would just drag your screen around. You can still click everything on screen to move. And there, if I want to duck, I can do that. Here we go. When I am holding down the mouse to move the direction, it looks like he will continually punch or shoot as I am doing this. And there you go, PUBG works pretty good. Don't have much time to play. And so you'd be able to play mini games that are supported. Now there are a few that once in a while they just won't work. Now if you use the game launcher, it will show you a bunch of applications that you can use right here within the Samsung DeX. Now one last thing that you would be able to do with this instead of using the Samsung DeX is you can actually open this and go into screen mirroring mode. So instead of showing the full DeX mode, you can actually just screen mirror. So now whatever I see on my phone will show up on the monitor. So here I can go through and anything I do on the phone shows up there. So you may need that every once in a while. Now the last thing I do want to show you is that if I unplug my mouse and keyboard here on the phone will actually show the touchpad. So I can just move around with my finger and here I can click and tap to open items. So I can double tap there, open Google Translate. And yeah, everything works just like on the Samsung DeX pad. You just need to unplug the mouse and keyboard. And as long as you have the most recent software on your Galaxy S9 or Note 8, this should work, no problem. In the time that I have spent with this, I really have had no issues. Only when I was screen mirroring did I have some problems with the screen kind of wigging out there. Now one of the concerns that other people had with the last one of these is it did not charge fast enough. So right here, when I plugged in, it does say fast charger connected. So you should have no issues with your battery draining faster than this can actually charge it. Right there, it does work. Overall, really impressed with this device for $30. This is really great, just put it in your bag. You never know when you may need this to put a report or a PowerPoint presentation on the big screen. So this is definitely a device to be able to do that. Uh, having the extra features of the Dex pad, like having it sit on the nice dock and the fan, I don't know if that's super necessary, but uh, definitely this one is worth checking out. And that is pretty much it on all of the features that the Samsung DeX can use with the USB-C and the multifunctional adapter. I hope this review about the USB-C adapter for your Samsung device or your Nintendo Switch was helpful. If you have any further questions about this, let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see more of my Samsung DeX videos, make sure you click on the playlist over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.